day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. You, I know you've had it where people will blame, put down, move away from God because of what some people have done. Do you ever get that? You know, oh, they, yeah. they'll go back I mean, to there's, history. There's, there's plenty of folks that leave a church because of what folks in church do. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're, they're just as bad as I am. <laughs> I seen such and such in the club. Why would I go there? You know they're gonna put God on a on an individual. Exactly. You know, and, and the sad thing is, I I'm just as bad as that person. So that's why both you guys need some some uh yes. <laughs> some some uh perfecting, I should say. <laughs> yeah. In, in 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 the things of, of God. So and then that <laughs> and that leads back to what you were saying. That scripture you read was when we the the people were thinking that the word was spoken by man. Yeah. And as long as people look at the church, not at Christ, and at individuals in the church, they're not going to recognize what God is saying. And that's why I want to make sure we we don't get that people don't don't go by the history and blame that on God, which people do. Or they sit there and say it's not real because of what people have done. You see, you know, my point is, 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 is we have to make sure people don't stay within the context of the situation. If the Catholic Church did this for the Spanish Inquisition, that's the Catholic Church. That wasn't the body of Christ as a whole. Yeah, and, and still, and even in that, you can still find some God truth in some of the things that they did. No different than any local body called the church in any dwelling or any denomination. There are some truths of God in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. No one has it all right. Come on, brother. That's why it is imperative that you renew your mind with the word of God so that you, the Holy Spirit, you, you develop a relationship to where you, you're you sensitive Woo! to what the Holy Spirit is showing you, teaching you, giving you, allowing you to accept as Woo! truth and denying those things that are not. Yes. So it is a cultivated relationship that you develop by interacting with God through his word so that relationship becomes so profound that you know without of a shot about what that individual personality is and what he will say, won't say, will allow, won't allow, will do, won't do. So I would not know my wife if I did not have a relationship with her and Come some of the things that people would say about her. So I couldn't know that intimate relationship. I couldn't accept, you know, that I, I would just take anything as information about my life if I didn't have a relationship with her. Come on. Didn't tell me anything about her, and I would have to be, it would be confusing, which yeah. it is. Yeah. Which it is to people because they don't know. They have no relationship. They have no fellowship. God does not speak to them mm. personally. He is still communicating audibly, verbally, <laughs> wow. within your mind. Yeah. So that you know when it's it's him. Mm. You know without a shadow of a doubt when God is speaking to you because you hear and you know that's him because you have a relationship with him. Wow. So the things that, that you hear when you're in your local church, you will know. Mm. You will, and, and, and. <laughs> Brother, you hitting it. You hitting it. 
you, you know, you, you, but you have to understand you will not find the kingdom of heaven in a local church. No, no, or, or in man. No. no, you will find it in man because it's in us. Okay. Christ is in us. God lives within us. The Holy Spirit is within us. He doesn't live here, but he dwells and he, he, he sucks with us. His spirit lives within us, so we're connected. So it's within us that you find the kingdom of heaven. You got to look within, but if you have no idea what's within, then you would never know. Yeah. And then the enemy comes in like a flood. You're right. And he, look, when you're, when you're being inundated from every, <laughs> every side, because that's how he is, you know, he, it's not like he's going to fight fair and just say, you know, what you actually know about the kingdom. He doesn't fight fair. He told that's that with Jesus, It's not right? like he's going to fight fair. I mean, right. uh, what is a fair fight? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. He he prays. I like the fact that you know that I think that goes right back to how Jesus was tempted, right? He said, you know, in the wilderness for forty days, forty nights, and then those last three. That's yeah. how the devil fights, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can just imagine him tempting him with all kind of little, uh, little things that don't mean nothing to nothing. <laughs> after four days, after he just a worn down to where, oh yeah, I got it. Now I can bring those things that I really know. Yeah, yeah. That would yeah. get him to subvert his power and his authority to me. No different than the first Adam. Now let me come at it. Exactly. And and, and he loves to get you, me, uh, and people too. Don't forget the people that's opposition. They want you to get off the word and into your opinion. Mm -hmm. that, that's how they, that's where the battle goes into when you give your opinion. Uh, when you say, here's that key buzzword, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. and I ain't talking about, see, it's, it's a catchy word, it's a catchy phrase when you say, I believe. But the point of you saying, you believe what? You believe yeah. in what you just said, or did you believe in what God said? Did you believe what God's word said or you believe in your opinion? See, that's two different things. You can believe in something, but that doesn't make it true. You, what, you need to tell us what you believe in, and that goes back to the word of God again. Yeah. What does and the word know, say? You know? be, even when that ha happens, it still has to be. Yeah, what you believe, good. what the word it's, said. You're good through and by the word of God. Yeah, yeah. It still it must be. I mean, even when you say, I believe the word of God is such and such, or says such and such, or means such and such, you still have to run it by the word of God. Uh, you can't, <laughs> to make yeah. sure that that's what, that, that that person's belief is what God is truly, truly saying. What is or that's, that's that God gave him that belief, but for you, there is a whole nother revelation that goes to it. Yes, sir. You know what? Test the spirit by the spirit. And yeah. that's how we got to teach people. Make the word true. That's a profound scripture you gave today. And matter of fact, it lines up, and, and we will give the rest of these words to, to the people. It lines up uh, with what we're talking about. Let's see here. I'm going to bring this up. And, and, and walk this through with us, if you don't mind. Uh, the first scripture here is, go, go. we read this a uh, couple of weeks ago. Go, go ahead and break that down for us again. Matthew 7, 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. 
Yeah. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Brother, that oh. lines up. That lines up with the word that you you showed this morning. Yeah. The fact is that when we when we operate, when we heard the word, we heard the word, but we do something contrary to the word. I told some people, man, I don't know about you, but I was I was actually ministering that those scriptures for the last week or so. And and and, and sometimes when I have to finish talking to them, and you know, you see them later, you say, Are you a wise man or a foolish man? <laughs> but but it's so important for us to, to go by what God says. And he said, anytime we give our, like you said, your opinion. It has to be on based on that foundation of the word of God. Because that's what Christ was saying. Huh? I'm I'm looking at uh when I read that, I'm telling you, uh Matthew 16, 18 came came to, to mind yeah. where where it says, And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. Well, but let me go back up to okay. sixteen thirteen. Matthew 16, 13. Let me see if I can Keeping bring in mind what, what, what we have just read. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Jesus says, when, when Jesus came unto the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, that I the Son of Man? Now, excuse me, what's that? What scripture are you at? Matthew 16. Okay, 16. 13. 13. Go ahead, keep going. Okay, I start over. So when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the son of man? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or, or one of the prophets. He says unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, son Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. This is the rock that we were talking about in the other scripture. Yeah. Not Peter, but on the gospel, which yeah. is Jesus Christ, the Son of, of God. Yes. And so we go on, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Come on. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whosoever thou shalt bind on earth, and no, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou loot on earth shall be loose in heaven. Hey. So when it said that that house <coughs> was built on a rock, yeah. and you feel the wind and the storms <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not fall, this is the rock. Woo. Jesus Christ is the rock Come on. that that house was built on and did not fail. And anything other than that, great was the fall was the fall yeah in other words anytime we stand on something other than the word of god we did that then we have a weak foundation and that's what i think that's what people have gotten into when we even like you said i think even when we when we spill in politics uh and all these other stuff we we get off message and the message is what we're supposed to preach because that's where the foundation is on the message the word of god you know what i mean yeah. and if we stay on message stay on message but the problem is we, we, you're gonna have to pull people back onto the message and i i, I guess uh, i guess when you're saying quote the scripture or i think really just go by what jesus did and say well it is written yeah. this is what the word says about that and if you say look i don't know if i can give you the the, the actual verse number right now but i'm saying i'm paraphrasing it is written that this is what god says about this situation 
And if you're if you're contrary to what God says, even the fact you know I've been you know my little TikTok I'm sitting there saying is, He told you to bear fruit, right? He told you to bear fruit, and and it's so easy to work on bearing fruits of the spirit <clears throat> than to try to work on these mechanics that we come up with, you know, pray five times. Flip, you know, do do a little cockwheel over here, and you know, uh, carry the jawbone around with you. Uh, uh, just bear fruit, and the only way you can bear fruit is what through Jesus, right? Remember in John 15, He said, "Without me, you what? You can't do nothing." Yeah. So those fruits, those characteristics of love, is so important. Is that hard to do? Do you, in your mind, is it? Is it hard to bear fruit? It is easy, but yet hard. And do you know it's why it's easy, hard? It's easy because the process is right there before you. It's okay. hard because we are still wrapped in this sinful flesh. Okay. And it always wants to represent you. Instead of relying on Christ, yes, sir. Um, so, <laughs> during these situations and circumstances that arise, and uh -huh. even opportunity to bear witness to Christ, to bear witness of God, His greatness, His glory, to uh, to present signs and wonders. They don't happen because Myron will respond. <laughs> Myron will give his opinion or Myron will react instead of pulling back and allowing Jesus Christ to respond. 